Good morning. Good afternoon. Today we drive along Highway 97 and Highway 17 southbound. Climb some beautiful snowy mountains, a hard climb, and uh, drive through, through some fog because the Columbia River is mad at us and steaming fog everywhere. This video is brought to you by Central Transportation. Now hiring Super B Woodchip, Super B Flat Deck, Class 1 drivers in BC's Lower Mainland, the Okanagan, and the Kootenays. To apply, go to setco.ca, use promo code QUANTFAN. Let them know I sent you, get an extra 100 bucks on your first payday. And make sure you use my name as a reference when you apply. And uh, any referral bonuses I get, I'll split with you guys. Good morning. You didn't do that. Good afternoon. How are we doing today? <laughs> How are you? Keep it PG. <laughs> what did some jack wagon do last night, like at midnight? Uh, pulled the fire alarm. And then what did that, probably the same jack wagon do at 4 a.m.? I think it was like five, but pull the fire alarm. I kind of suck for sleep, by the way. Majorly. More so for you than for me, because both times I fell asleep before the alarm turned off. I couldn't believe it. I was like, you're snoring and the alarm's still going. I don't get it. But sadly, that's just how used to we are to the fake alarm. I haven't had the fake alarm for a while though. They usually have them when we're not home. Mm. They go like the five days a week you're not home. So when you're at home during the week you get fake alarms? Once in a while, yeah. People pulling the uh pulling the fire alarms. A little obnoxious. Well if you guys want to hear this truck work for its life, you're about to. We got a B train behind us. Too tall of a load to have a rear facing cam. I was hoping for the B train I'd get a rear facing cam, but the load's too tall, it's not gonna work. We don't know what we're doing tomorrow. We'll yeah, see. we'll see what tomorrow's load looks like. Talking about scene. You can't <laughs> I mean, see much lately. If we can see anything. Good fog compared to what we went through a little bit ago. Yeah, currently, we are like halfway between Olmac and Brewster, southbound on Highway 97. And we're gonna turn southbound or is it eastbound? Highway 17? No, 17, so the 7. So it's still that'd be a southbound highway, yep. Yeah. Uh, Ethan number would be. East to west, the odd number is north to south. Not always, but generally in the US, highway numbers follow those rules. Yeah, it's definitely a foggy, foggy day. Yeah, it's uh, 3 p.m. 3 p.m. I was gonna shoot video a little later. Excuse me. <coughs> <coughs> I was fine till we started recording. You went outside. I went outside to put the camera up on the roof, which is probably gonna mean it's a useless camera, but we'll see. Let's see what, what the video looks like. But. Hey, you, you finally filmed the, the Rain-X, the plastic one. Plastic Rain-X. So we're trying that out. What else did you find this weekend? I wasn't there yet. I was talking okay. about other stuff, okay. but I can't remember what I was talking about now. Uh, what road we were taking? And then temperature. I missed the temperature. Two degrees Celsius, so just above zero above freezing point. The roads are kind of dry so that's why I risk putting the camera up there but the 
fog has been getting thick enough that we've been running wipers. Yeah, I needed, I needed some new work gloves. So I'm like, I've needed new work gloves for the last three weeks. I'm like, I'm getting very close to throwing these out. These, I need new ones. I usually buy three or four pair and then slowly use them up. Well, I walked into Home Hardware to buy my favorite work gloves. Because, you know those cheap work gloves you can get on the Home Hardware, the ones that are branded Home Hardware logo, will last the longest from all the ones I've tried. I've tried all these different um, cheap, almost disposable work gloves. And home Hardware, for the price, lasts the longest. Usually I throw a home hardware glove out because they're gross and not because they're tearing. Yeah, they're usually $12 a pair. Usually about 12 bucks a pair. 60% off. Yeah. 5 bucks, basically. Yep. I did not clean their shelf out. The attempt was made to almost do that, I, though. I couldn't really carry more than 20 pairs. About 20 pairs, it's a stack huge stack of work gloves I walked up. first I walked up to the counter one pair and go hey is there a limit on the on the sale of these gloves and he goes no no there's no limit on them and he wanted to ring me through I'm like no I'll be right back with more I come back with just a huge stack he goes holy smokes you need gloves I'm like oh yeah I go through a lot of gloves the thing is when you're um, rolling straps the friction of those straps as you're rolling them cuts through the uh, gloves pretty quick. It does. Certain gloves, it's a lot quicker. And for the price and how long they last, those cheap leather home hardware gloves is the best bang for the buck. So I have 20 pairs now. Yeah. They'll last me for a while. It's a heck of a sale, really. Like, and that pair of gloves will last me a week, two weeks, sometimes if they're really three weeks, but yeah, it'll last me a few weeks, usually two weeks or so. Not always, but... It depends on the weather, if you use them or you use different ones, or what should note this down somewhere be like this time of year gloves are usually on sale well, just have to keep an eye on it actually look at the flyer or something no limit well next time there'll be a limit on them because <laughs> i definitely bought more than i left a few pair on the on the pegs like they had what five or six pegs of these gloves on there so i probably left 15 or so pair left on on the pegs I don't want to take them all for the next person that comes along and just wants one pair of gloves. Leave enough that they can restock it overnight. And Sally gloves are something we can't claim on taxes. Nope, cannot claim ta gloves on taxes. You can't claim work clothes and tools. You can claim some if it's safety gear, right? No? Not for your line of work, at least. dead deer and a bumper in the ditch. So, this is definitely a deer zone. It is, yeah. Quite often you see deer. Oh, how'd you hit? How'd that, that safety rail, how's that happen? Oh, I got brutally attacked. Understand that one at all? A snow cloud, maybe? Maybe a snow cloud trimmed it and yeah. got pushed back and then flopped forward. I don't know. That's, that's a bizarre one. It's still winter down here. You go across the border. And yeah, it's not Canada, winter. Canada. We have hardly any snow left. Come back down here. Hey, there's snow here. The roads are dry though. Ish. The dry ish. The 
we're taking the fog lifting a bit here, so that's nice. Mm -hmm. Just for you. The amount of cars that were driving with no lights in that fog. That was scary. I couldn't do speed limit, that's how thick the fog got. Like, I was having a hard time reading, like, a sign that was yeah. right there. I'm like, I know there's a red light coming up over here. Better slow down. I need to drive at a speed. If it is actually red and not green, I can stop because it should be right ahead of me here. I don't see it. It's a pretty thick fog. But yeah, it's really, it's almost, you almost see a little bluish shining through. We, we might, don't... we might have, we might be done with the fog. Is that like 50 feet visibility or less than that? It was less than that. Yeah, it was bad. <laughs> I guess just in in on that itself about less than that. Just a small little section. I just didn't have my cameras ready, or else I would have recorded that. I had a hard time knowing what kind of clothes to pack this week. I'm like, is it gonna be cold? Is it gonna be warm? Yeah. Winter's mild right now. I mean, we still have. A lot of winter left, but like considering we, we, it's been a very mild winter so far. We had one cold week, and the truck let us know that it was a cold week. Yeah, it's now it's like watch out for flooding, rock slides, and watch out for uh, weight limits on roads, like spring yeah. stuff, right? It's spring all the stuff. spring stuff there. They're reducing weight limits and stuff. It's like, what? In January? It's usually a spring thing, so it's a weird winter. It's a weird winter. I'm not complaining. I'm enjoying it. But I think that's maybe why we also got so much more snow this winter. Is the weird warmer weather. Because when it gets colder, it stops snowing. Yeah. It's that perfect temperature where we get a lot of snow. And when we got the snow early, I'm like, ooh, it's gonna be a rough winter, but it's the opposite. We got lots of snow and then it's staying a nice warm winter. Maybe the snow is a really good insulator at keeping the heat in, in the earth, which uh, helps keep it warm too. I don't know how much that would keep it warmer, but... I'm just looking at these snow banks. Oh, that's a pretty big snow bank here. Actually, I have quite a bit right here. There's a lot of snow here. I also remember that we usually go on vacation and come back and it's unbelievably cold and snowy, so... When's vacation? How many weeks? Um, just less than a month. So. Rumble strip's annoying because it's... It, it, oh, there's some hot water. Um, it's actually on this side of the line. February, right? Yeah. Seven, seven. So that's one, two, three weeks away. Yeah. Three weeks till vacation. So one week ish. Huh? By the time we see this video? No. No. Oh yeah, by the time you see this video, uh, vacation's one week away, but there'll be still three weeks of videos. Yeah. So it's three weeks of this before, yeah, we're on vacation. And then there'll be no real trucking videos, but we're, we intend to shoot a whole bunch of vacation videos. We'll try to shoot some extra videos so you have some trucking videos while we're on vacation. There won't be a ton of them. I think 
definitely have some good ideas for good videos. Yeah. Yeah. I think so too. And maybe some of the vacation videos aren't going to be driving videos. Some of them will be walking videos. Yeah. Mixed with driving. We're we'll so probably do Lamanai, right? Yeah. yeah. Most likely do Lamanai. Yeah. So close. Drive through Chipyard, that'll be a good video there. I don't know if we'll do Alton Ha or not, but that's the touristy one. It is, yeah. And there'll be a zoo one if the weather holds. Yeah, yeah the weather has to hold too for this, but yeah. I'm looking forward to it. I am for the most part, besides I know that every time I go down there something tries to attack me or kill something me or poison me or everything's something. Everything's poisonous and please. Everything's poisonous. I have a story from every time I go down there, if something tree or something. And we're only gonna we're, we're gonna take two weeks vacation, but we're only gonna be in Belize for one week. So there may be some local videos too that we shoot. driving around in our pickup at home. I can't count it on one hand. I don't think one of the things that is trying to do to me. Remember the one time the moth landed on uh, uh, Margaret's like, clavicle? Your sister, yeah. yeah. Her neck, yeah. Poison. Just a poisonous moth landed on her clavicle and then took off again. But just that slight one land, she had the blisters like Huge blisters in the shape of the moth wings. Yeah, she had outline of a moth on her for months. Yeah, it was like a burn. It was like almost third degree burn, so I didn't feel like good. What? You can't put my leg where I want to put my leg. Why not? Somebody installed the icing system in my way. Oh, this is gonna. Just, just move the icing system. Not that hard. It doesn't I mean, move as much. Pretty monster falls off. But... All right. Scale over here. I should clarify. I don't have my leg room like usual. No complaining. She does not have normal leg room. This is true. He's pulled over for some other reason. Uh, scale is closed. Today I like to see that. All right, now we do a hard little climb, and then after Chief Joseph Dam, we do another hard little climb. Fully loaded super B. Just a little bit over fully loaded super B. This route is fun because it brings me to one of my favorite places. Ah oh, yeah, it does go by dry fall. Well we are going eventually my favorite route. Well one of my favorite route. Highway 14, but how far are we going to go on there? We are. Your dad wanted to retire there at some point. I don't know if it was there or somewhere else. I don't know. Your dad's wanted to retire in a lot of places. Yeah. I can't I can't say he's wrong. It's a pretty good location. Yeah. 
this time of seat here, there's not a lot of construction equipment, not a lot of jingles coming up, there's not lots. Yeah. Flat deck division, it's a slow time of year right now. If you are a smart uh, hardware store that sells a lot of jingles, this will be the time of year to do, bring them up. If you, you have the room to store, if you have the room yeah. to store them, buy truckloads of jingles now because you could just say, hey, if you have a load coming up from Portland, I'll pay you this much money for it. Just leave the open offer in there. I think they could almost do that for the wood pellets for winter too. Yes. And trucking companies would go, well, I'm going back empty. And I guess I might as well take this one that doesn't even co cover all my costs, but it could I'll be, I'll be losing less money if I take this all back. So okay, I'll take this on. I'll be losing less money. Just have those offers sitting there. And I bet you, bet you would have some much cheaper transportation costs in January. Instead, most people in spring, all of a sudden, all these orders of jingles are coming in. It's like, now it's a premium because we have to get a truck down there to get get that load of jingles. I'll be paying a full rate instead of a cheaper backhaul rate. In fact, some places we go to the Senko charges double rate because we're guaranteed not to be able to have a load back out of there. It's like we're delivering this into the middle of nowhere. We have to drive this many miles back empty. You guys need to pay for those miles as well. Yep, that makes sense. For some allocation, yeah. Like, I heard uh, the pulp mill on Prince George is closing. They're going to keep the factory open to make the paper. Oh. But the actual pulp mill section is closing. So they're going to bring the sawdust and wood chips in from somewhere else? I guess. And then I think it was Camphor and Toko were cutting down more. And oh, wait, they're going to stop making the pulp. So the pulp will come in from somewhere else and then they'll just turn. Bring the, turn the pulp into paper, so they're going to buy their pulp from somewhere. Interesting. And, and then Vaughan Rose has closed their yeah, site yeah. in Midway. Uh, quite a few lumber places are closing down. It's lumber prices and paper prices are going to go up. And then in town, your uh, trucks repair shop, IRL closed. Yep. Uh, international dealership in Penticton closed. There's a lot of places closing it. For sure, signs of a pretty serious recession right now. And if uh, trucking companies and logging companies are shutting down, all of that will trickle down into a recession. Definitely will. Like getting that vibe right where it's like yeah things did go up during the pandemic but not that much like these mills were open before that yeah like, there's other things going on and i think we're going back to fog what do you think that looks like a wall of fog over there doesn't it i think i think i wouldn't bet against you it's usually the smart choice Not necessarily the right choice, but the smart choice. I kind of lost <laughs> into that one, didn't I? Yeah, they could be just across over there and burn it going through it. We'll see. Fog? Yeah. I think the uh, it's the Columbia River. Columbia River is, uh, it's steaming mad 
Columbia River, a steaming pad. That's where the fog's all coming from. It's right above the Columbia. So it's less than a title for a video, I don't know what it is. <laughs> Columbia River, steaming pad. Oh, that's funny. Let's see, maybe we'll dip low enough to stay under the fog, but... at perfect temperature that water is evaporating but it's also not allowing the fog to escape up up so the Joseph Dam over there. I would honestly like to see a fish ladder at that dam mm -hmm. because the salmon can swim till here. Yeah. And there's no fish ladder here. That's weird. Wonder why. When they built the Columbia Dam. Grand Coulee Dam. The excuse for not putting a fish ladder in that one was because there was none down here, so the fish couldn't even get there. Mm, makes sense. The Grand Coulee Dam originally was supposed to be a low dam very similar to this. Oh, really? When construction first started, it was a low dam like this. And then all of a sudden they budgeted and went for a much taller dam and they had to re engineer it. Seriously. Yeah, it looks like we're kind of staying under the fog. Looks like the river's kind of low. Maybe they're planning out a lot of this melting soon. Maybe they're planning that it all melting soon. Want to have room for it. Oh, yes, the dam beneath releasing more water, that could be a, uh, making room for water to come in. Well, if you have a sudden melt to open the mountains, you're going to need this. Yeah, you don't want overflow. Seven kilometers an hour, which would be 30 miles an hour. I don't know. Yes. That's what I'm saying. Like you look at me, and I'm like, I'm just we're, we're, we're not on a we're not on an 18 wheeler. Well, normally, what am I? 24 wheeler. Normally, a 24 wheeler. This is a 30 wheeler. Yeah, we kind of stayed below the fog. That's a crew cab and long box. Kind of looking for that size of pickup right there. Yeah. Really convinced me that you're not gonna wake me up. Well, 
that's that's when we go to the RV show, we can look at things like that. Would there be a curtain where you could close the curtain, and as long as I have earbuds in, I could edit video quietly? Yes. Yes. So you could be in the bedroom quiet because women need more sleep than men do, right? So I would be able just in general, I need more sleep than anybody. They say women need eight to nine hours while men need seven to eight hours. It's an extra hour of sleep. So yeah, I could be in in the RV with my earbuds or headphones on, editing video, or I couldn't be doing a live stream at all, obviously, but you'd have to kind of figure that out. Because we would, when we get the RV, it would have Starlink on it, so we'd still be full connection to the internet. The apartment we have right now, we still keep me up to wake me up. So we'll have to see. I might have to get earbuds for me or something. I don't know. I'm not worried about that. We, we can figure that part of it out. Well, that's what you said because you don't know like to sleep. <laughs> I could sleep in a fire alarm. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that beautiful white hills. Like, this is pretty. super unique. How white everything is here. It makes me want to go sledding almost. Yeah, some of these hills would be fun to go sledding down. We're at 70 kilometers per hour. 44 miles, working hard. Double solid here still, bud. unique looking at like, I don't know if I've ever seen them like this before. It's just weird. Everything blends into each other. Yeah. The lighting in lighting has probably got a lot to do with this. It, it is, yeah. An overcast day. It's overcast but you do have some sun because you're yeah. in some shadows right there so I wasn't expecting this. Get some source and interesting around this time of year. 
little creek there, and then you got the Columbia River, so lots of fish there, especially since it's a dead end there by Cape Joseph. All the fish come there and stop, so yeah, probably good, good fishing ground. Eagles are very good at stealing food from other ones. Oh. Like when you're a juvenile, you don't know how to hunt well. The first few years, you just go steal food. Steal food, oh. That's how you survive. With the amount of roadkill, that probably helps too. Yeah. Well, you just go steal from other eagles, too. Like, you just steal your food. Just like the Elder Scrolls game. You always end up being the thief. <laughs> For a couple games though, no matter what game, like certain ones are like always the same character type. Sneak and theft, yep. I end up being very sneaky or... In our current game, we've actually branched out a little bit. Uh, you mean Valheim? Yeah, and then... I'm, I'm actually a ranger. In, um, way back in the day when we played, um... Guild Wars. Guild Wars. Yeah, I right. did a lot of ranger. Either necromancer or a ranger in that. In that so. uh, one character I did really well in Guild Wars, that a lot of people wanted me to join, was a necromancer healer. Yeah. Doing a lot of healing well. Yeah, I, I don't do healing. That, that got me a, a board of a lot of groups. A lot of people let me just tag along and I would just heal the heck out of them. And I would move a lot further in the game doing that without actually having yeah. to be a good fighter. And if you like us talking about gaming stuff, we do have a gaming channel you can check out. Good blog. Look down below in the link below, the three J's. I can find some segments. And Come join every Saturday, Sunday morning, you can win a free Steam gift card. There we go. Free plug. <laughs> I was just like, some people might watch and I know. Yeah, we talk about it every now and then, but not very often. We, we have free channels. One of them is a test bed right now, and, and we got the gaming channel, this channel, and then a test bed. If you find my channel, I stuff on there, but I don't use it. That's still a test bed too. You're not. That's not a dead channel. Yeah. It is a channel on vacation. I actually want to move some of my tutorials over to our gaming channel. Oh yeah. Redo them. Redo the those same tutorials and do them on the gaming channel. Good idea. Yeah. It's on that ever growing to do list. Yeah. Time. Time is. Time is tricky. We run out of time very quickly and realize we can't do everything we want to do. So you gotta start picking the things that we can't do. Well, last week I was expecting to spend most of the week feeling ill or uh, having to change our passwords. You know, there's things that came up, right? Like. Oh yeah, just changed a lot. Are there still how many left? Way too many. Way too many. We, we had, she changed all the most important passwords. Yeah. If you guys use LastPass, I recommend leaving LastPass and changing all your passwords. Because those passwords are not secure anymore. Including your master password. I'm saying that because I've recommended LastPass to people. They got hacked. And all those passwords are at risk now. So we changed all our email passwords, all our banking, credit card, all, all the financial stuff, um, Amazon. All, all those important ones are changing. But it's time consuming. A lot of them make it hard to change your password on purpose, right? For this reason, they'll get hacked, right? 
it's like, okay, with security questions, what are two factor, but it's, you know, on yeah. and on and on and on. Well, Beautiful. Which accounts have we not used in the last three years, and I've just deleted yeah. those accounts. Yeah, we did quite a bit of that too on the weekend. Like, don't need this, don't need that. But yeah, it's time consuming. It is. Especially making sure I do a good job this time of making all the passwords. Well, since enough. we're moving to a new password service, might as well do a good job of switching everything. Because last pass we dropped in some old, just simple passwords into that too, right? So You instigated that. But you do it too. Never. 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 I am perfectly innocent <laughs> of all charges. <laughs> That's lies, man. Crazy Americans with no lights. 
crazy. Luckily in Canada, it's the law, you have to have head, headlights on. Well, oh yeah, I was saying goodbye and thanking you for all your support. I see uh, members coming and going, so thank you for all the people that hit the join button. If you go up to the uh, $5 support I'll send you a uh, sticker in the mail I uh, I've got some new holographic stickers I really like everybody that. that is currently a member and has sent me uh, or given me their address I haven't sent them out yet but they will be in the mail here very soon I've got a, I got it all gathered up I've got the envelopes everything sitting on the table at home I ran out of time this weekend got it all sitting there I just have to write out the uh, addresses and then next weekend we'll mail them out I, I really like the holographic sticker it's a little bit smaller than the other sticker Slightly. but, but I, I really like the sticker yeah. it's, it, it look, it's a pretty thick really good holographic sticker so. anyway yeah if you guys uh, hit that uh, join button you guys will get a sticker in the mail if you guys do the five dollars or more a month and if you only want to do it for one month just to pay for the sticker and then go down to 99 cents or bail it all together completely completely cool with me there's zero pressure because for five bucks it pays for the sticker and the stamps to get it mailed out to you so that way I'm not losing money but yes, and anybody else that doesn't hit the join button, thank you as well. Like, zero pressure to do that. Thank you for watching and all the comments and all the subs and everything else you guys do for us. We really appreciate it. But for now, we are out of here. You guys rock. Adios.